All right, let's do a little arrow talk down here, okay? Got a gift of some Pro Flight for Genevieve from a friend of Bungie, and I want to say a big thank you. Dwayne, thank you very much. That was very, very kind of you. And I, think, I guess he's switching back to the quills, likes the quills. Genevieve likes the quills too. But she does have a quiver full of Pro Flights, these Pro Flights, right? The 16 and a half inch Pro Flights from Excalibur for her Excalibur crossbow. Genevieve's current arrows, these are Pro Flights, you can see. They are Pro Flights, but these are the ones that we put the heavier inserts in. That with the nice 150 grain Swahacker broadhead and the new Fletch igniter knock. These are the original veins and stuff, but the new Fletch igniter knocks. These push these arrows up around 500 grains. So that's pretty sweet for Genevieve's little micro suppressor 355. These are pretty cool. They're a little bit different from the ones that I'm familiar with that we've used in the past. You saw me last year during Crossbow Appreciation Month doctoring up a set of those for Genevieve. Some people liked the way I did it. Some people didn't like the way I did it. But nonetheless, I got to tell you, she killed a big buck with those arrows and they worked, right? So as Genevieve is fond of saying, it's not stupid if it works. <laughs> there are good ways to do things and bad ways to do things. I'm just going to show you my way to do things here. First of all, you've got some rhino knocks here. This is the first set of rhino knocks that I have seen in person. That tells me these are new arrows because the rhino knock is a relatively new development for Excalibur. That little groove right there has something to do with the anti-dry fire on the new Excalibur crossbows. That's really the purpose of it. I get that. It's part of their new anti-dry fire. When you compare that with our traditional one, you can see the difference in the straight flat knock, the traditional flat knock. This is a Burke Coyote Luminock, which I love. You can see how that little groove is different between the Burke Coyote Luminock, the flat knock, the traditional Excalibur style flat knock, and that little groove in the Rhino knock. These are also a little rounded too. Did you notice that? The first thing you got to do on these though, we got to get that Rhino knock out of there. So I have a handy tool and thank you to another friend of Bungie who recommended this little device. Sent me a message, I think on the Facebook about this. Plug that in. It's a soldering iron. Really nothing too fancy. There's no on-off switch. I love this thing. It's simplicity at its finest. I love simple tools. But to get that Rhino knock out, we've already got one of them out. You can see right here it's got a little bit of glue on it. They use a, one of the greatest glues of all time, Excalibur does. But we're going to heat that bad boy up and get it warm to the touch when it's warm on here. And we're going to put that on here. The cool thing about this to get this knock out of here. This is threaded. It screws right into the flat knocks from Excalibur, so it is the perfect tool for that. We're just gonna give it, count to 10 or so, and it's coming right out. Look at that. You don't wanna leave it in there any longer than necessary, right? This was not easy to get out these inserts. This is off the front end, okay? The insert off the front end is, if you can see here, okay? That's about how long it is. So it's a nice long insert on the front end, obviously, and it holds a lot more glue. It's got more surface area. That's very difficult to get out. All right, we're here in the garage. I'm going to show you a little trick that works on a lot of them. Now, you've seen this in other ones. The Ranch Ferry used something like this. That's where I originally saw it. You've got a drill bit, and you take the drill bit, the flat side down, right, the bit side down, not the drill side, right? We're just going to take a drill bit that's about the size of your arrow shaft that fits very smoothly and easily in there, right? Every arrow shaft is going to be different, of course, depending on whether crossbow arrows or the other ones. But you want a big, fat drill bit for your crossbow arrows if they are 0 0.30 inches in diameter. So we're going to drop that in there. I'm going to wear a glove just because at the point of the drill bit is poking up, right? I'm going to take this and do this. But the problem with these pro flights with the Excalibur arrows is the glue. I'm telling you, this technique does not work. And you can put some stank on it, right? doesn't make any difference. Doing this video before 7 a.m. And I got like stuff to do here today, right? To get these inserts out, this tool actually does do the job. And what I'm going to do, screw this in here, okay? It's nice and hot. We're going to screw that on here, and you can smell it too, so you know it's working. <laughs> We're going to get that set up there. Pause, and then wait a little bit. Pulling straight out, pulling this arm that way, this hand this way. Just pulling straight out. We're not working it side to side or anything like that. It's starting to come, starting to come, and straight out. Voila, look at that. Um, I can unplug that now, ba-boom, 
make sure I get the right plug. Man, I got more, more gadgetry than the world needs, right? But again, this stays hot, so you do want to unscrew it now. Look, see all the smoke coming off of that? We don't want to be setting off the smoke alarms here, so. Bare arrow, look at that. No insert in the back, ready for a new Fletch igniter knock. Nothing in the front, ready to go. Looking pretty good if you ask me. Can I help you with something? My big girl. Yeah, you're a good cat. Yoink, yoink. Genevieve's going to be happy. She's not even up yet. She's not even up yet. You haven't seen much of Genevieve on these videos so far in Crossbow Appreciation Month, but there is some Genevieve coming. She is working very hard on her taxidermy studio. She's got that all set up. She's ready to accept customers as a taxidermist. She completed her apprenticeship in the spring, did a great job. We're going to do a video on all of her taxidermy. I'll be sharing that with you down the road. But she's working full time, plus her taxidermy. So she's a very busy young lady. And I appreciate that. I think I'm really impressed. I'm very proud of her. I'll share more information about that down the road, but hopefully she'll be very happy with some new arrows that will get all set up for her, and then she can hit the crossbow woods with me and Bungie, Bungie, Bungie the third, and Bungie Jr. in the near future. Until that time, all hail Bungie. Bungie.